Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for Tech. So last time we reviewed the Lineage OS 21 Android 14 for OnePlus Nord 2. It's truly amazing ROM, but Lineage OS developer didn't add any bypass for SafetyNet or Google Play integrative fix. It didn't have too much features also, except that it's truly amazing ROM. But the new developers of Nord 2, that is Lenia and their team, presented their new project called as the 2x2. It's nothing but the Lineage OS 21 with some amazing add-ons and the bug fixes. So you will get all the goodies of Lineage OS 21 without too much compromises. So today I am going to review this new project to will check out all the working thing, its performance and the bug fixes done and the new add-ons added by the team. And at the last we will discuss some bugs or the missing feature which are yet to be fixed. So watch this video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure Installation of this ROM is same like Lineage OS, but remember before flashing this ROM, your device must be on the Oxygen S13 with the unlocked bootloader and BROM and fastboot mode enabled. You can check the video description for video tutorials for unlocking the boot, enabling the BROM mode and the fastboot on Oxygen OS 13. Next, you just need to flash the 2x2 recovery and then via recovery flash new ROM via ADB side loading and then format data and reboot the system. So device started to boot into the new 2x2 boot animation. ROM is almost same like new Lineage OS 21. It comes with the Trebuchet launcher but it has some other differences that we are going to discuss soon in the video. First let's check out the about device details. At the top of the setting developers added the new 2x2 logo. This project is the first and the new project based on the new Android 14 sources. Lineage OS version is 21 with the new Octopus easter egg. Security patch of this ROM is same like Lineage OS 21, it's of April 2024. Kernel is same, it's origin kernel 4.19.198. Only build date is different here. Lineage OS build was on the old dated 14th April 2024 while this build is of latest on 20th April 2024. So we got the new latest build project with all the same source base of Lineage OS 21, Android 14 for best performance and the battery life. Now if you ask me about the essential features like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, auto brightness, GPS locations, OnePlus alert slider, all these things are absolutely fine and working great. All the sensors are working fine and some other essential things like under display fingerprint, ear speaker, mic, light, sensor, multi-touch, display, these important functions are also working great without any issues. Now comes the most important part that is safety net. As the lineage was didn't suppose the safety net bypass, it's got failed in the old ROM but developers in this ROM bypasses this issue and the safety net check is successful. Similarly, the Google Play Protect is also certified here, so we can install applications in this ROM from the Google Play Store. Similarly, DRM info showing the device Play Protect is certified, so we can run all the media streaming application at the full HD resolution in this ROM. Next very important addition is ROM comes with the latest Oxygen OS camera which was missing in the original Lineage OS 21 ROM. Camera is almost fully working with some flaws. Night mode is working good, photo mode is also working with the AI and HDR mode features. All the wide angle camera modes are working in the camera. For the video recording, video stabilization, AI mode, 180p up to 60fps video recording are working. But the 4K video recording only has 30fps shooting mode. Portrait picture for the main camera is working fine but the selfie camera portrait pictures has issue that we will check in the bug section of the video. In the more option, we get lots of features like Pro mode, Extra HD mode, Panorama photos, Film mode for the advanced video shooting. These features are working fine. Slow motion and the time lapse both are working. Here is a sample for the slow motion video shooting. Dual view mode and the AI card photos are also working, but some other features have some bugs. ROM also comes with the stock Oxygen OS Gallery application. 
Now let's check out some features available in the ROM. ROM setting panel looks same as the Lineage OS ROM, but at the top of the setting, they had added the phone number details we are using. Under display setting and the lock screen, we get the ambient display setting where always on display option is available and it's working good. We also get the pocket mode option here. Double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the lock screen both are working good. Dark theme has the pure black theme setting. We also get the new setting that is the home application to switch between the different launchers available in the device. Under the system like Lineage OS, we get different customizations options like buttons, status bar, gestures. Who gets the OT updater and it's working. Developer also added the OnePlus setting in the ROM which has lots of unique settings like cab mode for more battery efficiency, DC dimming. The most unique feature is MTK engineering and it's working by using this you can tune most advanced features of this ROM. So similar to the Lineage OS, this ROM has all the same feature but it's not heavily customizable like other ROM. It's just a AOSP ROM for the better performance and the battery life. So after discussing everything, now comes the most important part of the video that is the bugs and the basic features of the ROM. Though the some things are fixed in this build, but some features like portrait mode for the front selfie camera causing camera unusable, we need to force close the camera application and reopen it to make it work. Similar like Lineage OS and Evolution X, Brino scan feature is not working and the text scanner causing the camera application unusable. To make it work again, we need to wipe its whole data via application setting. Hey Google Voice Assistant feature is not available in the ROM, but you can access the Google Assistant by swapping the bottom edges of the device. Wallpaper and style application still didn't have the Android 14 AI generated wallpaper and the AI emojis and the lock screen wallpaper feature. No call recording feature is available in the ROM and there is no any setting available to enable it under the dialer setting. So these are the minor issues you will face unlike of the lineage OS, major issues of safety net and the device play product has been fixed here. In the future other issues will also get solved. As per my opinion this is the major alternative for the new lineage OS 21 which is offering same base of lineage OS along with the battery and the performance with the less bugs. So that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for not to. Thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye. No doubt, gotta get out of this